Oh my gosh. He's gonna run at you, Mom. If he runs at me, I'm gonna flip out again. I don't even know these shoes exist. <laughs> gosh. You lost it now. <laughs> All right, y'all. Taking the steers to commercial stairway in right now. Izzy. Izzy. Izzy, here. Hi, people. What did you say? You have a proud dad moment? Yeah. He came up here ahead of us, getting gates set up so that when we turn the steers out of the chute, they'll go to the right spot. Hopefully. Miracles happen every day. Yeah. Where are they? Well, no, I had them. Paul. See them right there. Do it. Boys, what are y'all doing today? All right, so I'm Cody Archie, and this is my son Clancy Archie. And what are we doing today? We're put implanting, ear tagging, and getting my commercial steers ready for weigh-in tonight right so the most important thing we're going to do is we're going to vaccinate them and we've got our cross five cooler here and what we're going to do with this thing this thing's awesome it holds your medicine in there with some ice packs and keeps everything good and cold um then it's got a spot for your pistol grips there's an ice pack in there and yes even though we're doing just six head today it's important to keep your vaccines cool and that's what we love about this cooler um, if we were going to do 600 head, we'd have the same cooler out here, maybe the bigger model. But uh, here in Central Texas on our Bar 7 Ranch, it's hot, and we want to be sure our medicine stays cool while we're working. It's got a great place to hold everything, and uh, we're ready to get to work. Yep. Y'all keep ranching. We're going to warm them. We're going to warm them with Ivamec. We're going to give them a triangle 10 vaccination and a Covexin 8 vaccination. So Covexin 8 covers all your black legs and then the Triangle 5 or Triangle 10 used to be 5. Triangle 10 is for your respiratory diseases. What is 6 times 8 here? So hopefully we got more in here. Hi. A 50 mil bottle, 10 doses. So what's that? Five? Sure. You don't know, do you? I wasn't listening. What's five times six? 30? Mm, sure. Yes. I'm sure it is. Hang on just a sec, Bob. You had them and then you lost them. We're going to use our fancy Triangle 5 cooler today. Keep everything cool. The Triangle 5 cooler? I mean a Cross 5 cattle cooler to keep everything cool for us. Today. Ten doses or so. Push him up, Mom. Pull your string. Perfect. Hey. Come on. 
we're going to use the tent method, okay? So you're going to reach up here and pull back. Are you up here where you can see? You can't do them both at the same time, so put one of them up. No, you're going to give those, okay? You're going to pull back and see this tent right here? This. Mm-hmm. Push in. And you're done, okay? Do stay in the same spot? No, don't. You don't want to put them right in the same spot, so move up a little bit and give the other one on the other side. Yeah, pull through. That's fine, yep. All the way in there. You got one squeeze. That's good. Other side to do the other one. There you go. Perfect. What are you putting in now? This is an electronic ear tag. It'll make it. I'm gonna put it up here where it's easy to get to. I should have put that in the other way. I think would have been easier to read. And then we're gonna implant them. This is a. So you see the rib right there. You see it. Can you see it in there? Show me. Right here. Oh, yeah. That's where that implant went in. Goes in the middle third of the ear, between the veins. Okay. We got him tagged. We got him vaccinated with everything. We don't need any fly spray? We don't have any fly spray right here, so we'll oh, okay. have to spray them from the house. Okay. Bub, you got this gate over here open? Yes, sir. How do we get to Go, go crawl through the fence and shut that, tie that black rope that's laying on the ground around that corner so they... Hurry up, I'm fixing to turn him out because we need to get moving. Try to come in from the top, not from the back or, yep, just like that. Push it up, there you go. Got him. I got him tagged, I got him implanted, and you got your shots in? What'd you put in right there? Implant. Component ES. And then we'll hit them again in about 75 days and give them a component TES, which has Tylen in it. So what is that? What does the implant do? It just increases their average daily gain, their feed efficiency, um, makes them convert their feed into muscle better, helps them get to the desired weight quicker. <laughs> Work like a charm. Wish I'd have had one 10 years ago. No joke. It worked it Worked excellent. Especially when it's 110 degrees outside. Today it's not, but. Might okay. as well be. Yeah, might as well be. 98. Above, we can just take them straight into the ring.
go and make sure the gates are open to the ring. We're at the cell barn. Going to unload our steers and weigh them in. I think you should be the gate getter. Ready? Why don't you stand right there and turn on back when they come to you? All right. Don't get run over, please. All right, Mom, bring them back. Okay. Pull this all the way to the fence when you, well, I'll wait for you. I got it. Hey, steers. Hey. You ready? Yep. Y'all wanting them or not? He, he's already got them wanted. The ones he gave you, he scanned them already. Write them down, Clance. Get you a cell. You got different colors? No, they're all the same. Yeah. Fourteen, right? Yep, fourteen. Six hundred and forty pounds. Eleven. Eleven. Seven ninety, yes, sir. Seven hundred. Seven hundred. Thirteen, Bob. Six eighty five. Hey, turn around. Grab this gate right here and swing it over and stand behind it till I get the other gate shut on her. That one. Well, I had this shut in case somebody got here and left something else open. For sure, doing it the slow way. I don't know about easier or hard, but. You need to pull your ass. Yeah. You, hey, you got everything else ready? I did all that. All right, turn them loose. Sir? Turn them loose. Come on, Nala. Oh, I guess you didn't really know. Yeah, get out anywhere, can't they? Everybody else can't. They're supposed to be fed to goats either, so I don't want yeah. it to ever be a I don't want it to ever be a mix up if somebody's out here. Yeah. Because they look a lot alike. Right. Okay. Easy. Will that fit right there? And the door still won't work? I think so. No, I think can move this Is this it? Hope not. 
Now go to the next one. There's a big there's a big Texas Farm Bureau sign. Cody. There's Texas Farm Bureau. I haven't been here in a while. I can't remember how far up it was. You can see it right there. We're getting close. You're very good at that. You're very good at operating the GoPro, Cody. I don't know about that. Texas Farm Bureau. So. So if you guys don't know, Eric and I are actively involved in Texas Farm Bureau's. Uh, you don't well, even know what you're talking not about. Not even the young. Well, we're not. We're, we've aged out of the Young Farmer Rancher Program, but I'm a County Farm Bureau president. Eric is on our county board. You need to keep going. And so, part of Farm Bureau's deal here is is not that. Um, Farm Bureau's main organization is about being the voice of agriculture for Texas agriculture. A lot of people think it's just insurance. Right. And that's not, that's just a member benefit, the insurance is. Well, I can't hit see. The back what, hit it on the back. And you'll be able to see again. Okay. Guys. You need to, the, there's probably a setting you can fix on that. I know. But anyways, tonight is our policy development meeting for our district. And we're going to go in here and talk about some changes that we want to see made in our policy book, which they use the policy book to speak with legislators and say hey these are some issues that agri agriculture in texas faces and that we'd like to get some legislation brought up about to help protect farmers and ranchers and their products and their property and things like that so we're gonna go in here and eat supper and have a policy development meeting, yep. meeting. so we'll catch you later okay we're in our meeting and look at this it's finally raining. Hopefully it's doing this at home. This is what I come home to, y'all. I'm trying to get over my cattle guard, and they're just greeting me here at the entrance. I mean, I guess at least they're just greeting me, but I'm going to need y'all to move. I don't know why we're camped out at the first cattle guard. Like, I guess they're my guard, guard sheep now. They're like, nobody's coming in here without us knowing. But they don't move very quickly. They don't move like cows. They just stand here. But they're going to have to get out the way. Yo, please move. Miranda or Lambert 1 is laying down. Okay, now they got it. But seriously, they're just, they're just here. But anyways. All right, y'all. We just got a two inch rain tonight and uh, the sheep have decided the best place to stand is in the middle of the road, but we're going to move them. We can get everybody to get up and get out of the way. We're going to move them up the road here into a different pasture that's not quite as wet as this. So hopefully Erica's video on at the other end. So they're following along slowly back there not really wanting to come along too quick. I think they think I'm really tricking them. I never feed them at night like this, but we're going to get them down here. The reason I'm moving these sheep right now, let me move this spotlight over here and show you. Oops, sorry, I'm going to shine the neighbors too bad. The spotlight hangs up sometimes. It won't come down like it's supposed to. There we go. So you can see this field is basically... We planted grass in it this spring and it didn't come up. We never got enough rains. But I'm hoping with this one-inch rain last week and this two-inch rain tonight and we got rain in the forecast for the next couple of days that it's going to be enough to get it going. And when it does, I don't want these sheep to trample it and, and uh, kill it before it has a chance to get going. So I'm going to move them to a different different pasture. Look right here. I don't know if you can see that, but that's standing water right there. A little two-inch rain. Let's give them a little call and see if we can get them to come on. There they come. See them coming up there? them through this gate right here.
lights to the right right there. We'll see if she can get the gate shut on them. Oh, those baby calves didn't come through. It's always got to be them little runts that don't want to come through like they're supposed to. Well, the hardest thing in the world pushing baby calves is like trying to herd cats. They don't ever want to go where you want them to. Maybe they'll come down this fence. Normally when you get behind them like that, you want to cut your lights off. The shadows usually scare them, but maybe, just maybe. see the pickup. Look right here, Kev. Woo! Come on! Got him. We got him. Good job, Mom. Alright, guys. We successfully got him moved. And you feel that? Y'all hear that? A little muddy. The truck's even spinning. Clint. Clancy, let me see him. Where did you catch that little guy? Hold him nicely. No, it's gonna bite me. No, he won't. <laughs> You're gonna break his tail off. I don't want it. <laughs> Kylie wants you to go put him in her Kylie, gerbil cage. Put it, I'll put it in your cage. Bring it over here. here Hurry. Hold on. Get everything out. I'll put it in there. What are you doing? Ready. What are you doing, Kylie? He needs to hold him nice. Hold him nice. Put these on. Give me. Put put one put on my on hand, it. Kylie. I have to get the. Put it on here. my hand. I'm not gonna bite you. Just pet him. <gasps> Watch out, I gotta close the door. Kylie, hurry up. He's in that one right there, get him. Why would you close the door? He could run outside. I don't know, but I do not want him. Okay, well, open the door, it's just hot. Okay, get him out of there. Pull the deal out and- I need something. I didn't catch him like okay. this. Okay, how'd you catch him? He was under a tire. This thing doesn't hurt. I need a paper plate or something. Just put a that over it. Why? I need a piece of paper. For what? Stick it under. Just put that over After him. After I get him, yeah. Okay, let's just put that over him, please. Is he in there? Uh, where is he in there? Is he in there? Is he in the shoes? He has to be in the shoes. Um, Kylie, he's in your shoes. <laughs> Kylie's in here putting the hamster cage together. Clance, what are you doing? Gotta bring the shoes outside. And you're sure he's not under there? Okay, so yeah. he's in the shoes, so. He's gonna run at you, Mom. If he runs at me, I'm gonna flip out again. I don't even know these shoes exist. <laughs> Gosh! You lost it now.
Move the other one. just now uh, a shovel for the hair. Pepper's gonna get him before you. Pepper already got it. Oh she did? Oh poor Pep poor mouse. She's gonna eat it, it's dead. That did not end well.